hey y'all hey I, I am back with another video and today i am trying or i am going to be showing you all how to do some quick diy mother's day um gifts so the first diy mother's day gift that i want to show you all how to do is using this vase that i purchased from dollar tree for one dollar it is a cyl cylinder vase and you can pretty much use this for anything you want to. You can put flowers in here or whatever you want to do. But let me show you all what I am going to do with this vase, okay? So I do have the vase. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring up an image. Well, I do like, as you all know, I'm a big publisher's fan. So let me first bring up my publisher. And I am going to bring up a blank page. And after the blank page, I am going to, let's go ahead and let's zoom it out a little so we can see what's going on. Just a little bit more. So we can see the entire page. Okay, so I am going to zoom it out like that. I do have um, the paper that I have right now is the 11 by 5. So let me go ahead and change it to that. But let me change the page design into landscape. I'm sorry. I mean to portrait. So I'm going to change that into portrait. And what, I, what I'm going to be doing is... Actually, it can stay. Let's go ahead and keep it in landscape. It can be in portrait or landscape, but because I'm using this huge paper, um, which is the 11 by, what did I just select, y'all? I did it so fast. I think it's 11 by 8 by 5 or 11, something like that. So we're just going to keep it at that. And then I have this image here um, that I used or made last year so i'm basically getting y'all something that i did last year and it was a good seller for me um also not only that it was a great seller but you can always use um this anyways like you can make this for your parent even if you're not a crafter or what whatnot so um so i did bring up the design or the image that i chose last year and it does have multiple pictures so i did use picture grid i believe to make this or you can use whatever whatever site or application that you have to combine pictures so that's what i have here and then i took this vase so let's go ahead and show y'all how i did this let me make sure y'all can see scoot you back let me scoot you all back so you can see exactly what I did. So I took this vase and I measured the vase first. So you wanna measure the top of the vase to the bottom of the vase. And I got like seven point, hold on, let me make sure. So I got like 7.5, yeah. You can either say 7.5. Yeah, I will give this vase a 7.5. And then you want to, so you want to take the length of the vase and then the circumference of the vase as well. So 7.5 and then this is probably like 11 or, let me go ahead and flip this over so y'all can actually see. Ugh. So yeah, it's about 11 inches. It's a little under 11. But it's okay if you just buy a tad over um, measure when you're doing the, the circumference. So the arounds of the vase. So I did say it was 7.5. So I'm going to take, I'm going to click on my image. And I am going to go to format. And I'm going to make sure that my Im image is a 7.5. Or you can just go a little bit over if you like. But let's, yeah, let's do like a 7.5. 7.7 just to kind of bring it just a tad over and then let's go around I think I said 11 but I really think that I had it at the right thing last last time 
It is saying 11. So let's go 11. Okay. So we want the height to be 7.7. .7, and then we want the width to be 11 on the picture. Let's see if that's correct. I think that was correct. Yeah, it could have already been the correct sizing. Okay. And so what happened was because I am using my, my Canon printer to print this, what happened was I was not able to, um, and we can do this in several ways, but I'm going to show y'all this way. Um, what happened was I was not able to print this um, full page using my Canon printers because my Canon printer does not print um, boardless. So I did have to save this image as a PDF or a um, PNG just so that I could print it at this size. So if you uh, just press save, you can save it at the correct size instead of uh, trying to adjust the sizes and it doesn't print but if you have a printer that print boardless you don't have to worry about that just go ahead and print it exactly the way it is so now that i have that done i have already have this had this image so i'm just gonna go ahead and select print so i can print this image the only thing i'm hoping it print right because last year i think with this i didn't use the correct paper let me see Let's nah, let's try. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and print it. it it'll be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and print it. And like I said, I'm using my Canon's printer. So this one does not, this particular printer does not print boardless. So um, as I stated before, I'm going to show y'all that it doesn't print boardless so y'all can actually see. See, boardless is on, but it's not going to print that way. Go ahead and close this up, and I am going to go ahead and start printing it. Okay, I so let's go ahead and let that print. I think I selected. Did I hit print? Yeah, I don't know what be going on sometimes. Okay, that time printer is going to print. Give me a second. so it's printing i hope my printer has enough ink because i've literally been printing all day but i do want to share with you all this video so let's get this printed and we'll move on from there and that it is finished printing as y'all can see but if i would have used the regular paper that i um just the 8 by 11 because that's what this is uh set up for it may well have printed correctly, but because I used this other paper that's a little bigger, it did not completely print correctly, but that's okay. Because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the white off. I may leave like a tad bit of white on the edge. And let me let y'all see what's going to happen. This piece of paper is uh, thin too, but the thinner the paper, to me, I feel like the better due to the fact that you don't want um, a real thick piece of paper on there. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the image. Uh, this can actually print it too, too big. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. This one printed too big because, like, I don't know what I had this one printed for. Maybe it wasn't for this. I, like I said, this was an image that I pulled from last year because I knew that this wasn't going to print correctly. So, and I did leave that extra thing on there. Let me see. Let me go ahead and just reprint this one more time. And I'm going to go ahead and go with my printing size. Let me go ahead and uh, do that. So I did have 11 and then 8 by 5. Oh, no, this is supposed to be a 7 by 5. Yeah, I don't know where I got 8 by 5 from. So it should print. Let me go ahead and unlock this. Oh, that's why it was locked. Yes, ma'am. I do. Okay, let me make this video. So that was, I did unlock it. So it should allow me to do my width at 11. So there we go. And let's go ahead and print. I'm definitely probably going to use the remainder of this ink this time. But that's fine. I just want to do it right because this one is extremely too big. As y'all can see, it's all over the top. It's not supposed to be that way. So I do want to do it right. So I won't be showing y'all nothing that's wrong. It's just that I know that last year I had trouble printing because this doesn't print boardless. But this year, it looks like I may not because the, the paper is a little bigger. So we're going to see. We are going to see. Okay, so now let's go ahead and remove this bottom piece. So I'm just gonna just try to cut as close as I can to the black. Let's see. Yeah, that's what that's much better. And then I'll do the same thing at the top. Okay, and as you can see, ma'am. Okay, and then it's okay that it's, um, so I'm just trying to go ahead and get all of the white off because we don't need it at the tops. I shouldn't have did that allowance. I should have just left it exactly like I needed to. Okay, so that is better. And then you can leave a little white strip off right here to the side. Doesn't have to be a big piece, just a little piece. Okay, and so now I have my glass and I have some Mod Podge here. Now this is real simple. It really don't even take as long as I'm making it take, but because I couldn't the first time it didn't print the correct size, like not even a little bit, is what threw it off. And then you can take your little paintbrush and you're just gonna dab it and you're just gonna smear paint. I mean, not paint, but Mod Podge all around from the top to bottom. And what I would advise you to do is to start first, get it on there the way that you want it on there. and then work your way around. So I got that side on there. Just do a little at a time. And then don't try to put the Mod Podge on there so thick. Try to put a thin layer on there so it will dry faster and it won't seep through the um, picture that bad. 
because you don't want it to look like wet stains are on the picture. And then this allows you to take out any or smooth out any um, air bubbles that's in between the paper and the um, the paper and the glass. So that's why I do advise you just do a little bit at a time. Only thing is, I probably should have started with the thin, uh, the side that didn't have. This side should have been the side that closes it up. That's the only thing, which I didn't put much over there. Okay. So there we go. And just take your hand and smooth it on there. If you try to pull it up, you may make the... Uh, picture tear so don't try pulling it up once it's on there it's kind of like it's on there okay and for that last little piece you just want to seal it seal it down smooth okay and then once you get the entire thing on there like that if you have bottoms the bottom stuck out you can also just like kind of go around the rim you have two options. You can either go around the rim, put a little Mod Podge on it, and then you can Mod Podge it down, or you can cut it off, your choice. But I just Mod Podge mine down to, so no clear glass will not be, you know, coming up from the bottom. I don't want the bottom to show the clear glass, although there is clear glass. I don't want the this part to be, that to show it. So you do the bottom like that, and then you'll do the top the same way. Just put a little bit in the inside of the glass. Try to do a thin layer if possible. And then you're just gonna tuck it down. Tuck it down. And once it's tucked down like this, you can give it a second, let it dry. Because Mod Podge does not take that long to dry. You can hold it. I'm going to go wash my hand and then I'm going to come back and I'll finish it up. So let me just go wash my hand real quick. It's not completely dried yet, which is fine. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, Mod Podge that I have left. And I'm just going to smear it all around the glass. This is going to give it a nice finish. And if you decide to, um, you can always go back over this last finish, either with some epoxy. If you're deciding to put candy or if you're wanting to put um, water in it, you're going to want to go over it with epoxy, making sure that you seal the glass and seal the pitcher. Otherwise, the pitcher will... Uh, mess up but if you're not wanting to put any water items in it if you're just gonna like stuff it with candy or some fake flowers or something like that then you can just use this Mod Podge or you can seal it with um a clear seal um paint spray so those are your options and then I'll be back to give y'all the finished results once this is all dried up to let y'all see how it looks. Yeah, it looks so pretty when it's done. And it's this very simple, easy craft, easy Mother's Day gift under $1. And if you don't have a printer at home, you can always go to... Um, one of those stores that prints items for you for maybe like 50 cents or a dollar i'm not sure how much it costs but yeah this is an easy diy y'all gotta be careful with this because this is paint i mean this is paper so paper does tear easy so i do advise you to let the the ends and stuff dry before you do your last uh coat of mod podge but 
because this is for video i just went on ahead and did it because i didn't want to wait but yeah and you can go back over it with it again with a second coat once it dry if you like but yeah let's go ahead and let that dry and we will be back once it finished drying okay y'all so it is finally dry and this is your final results and so you can use this as a vase you can put little flowers in it you can use it as a little candy thing you can put your little um tissue paper in it and then just put candy on top of it for your mom yeah or your grandmother or whoever you know this is just a nice little gift i was trying to see if i had any flowers sitting around but i don't see and i don't feel like getting any but yeah so i hope you all like this video give it a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe to my channel and goodbye until next time y'all let me see if i can get y'all a full Excuse my bottle. This is it. Let me just turn it for you all. And like I said, if you want to put water in it, make sure you seal it with the epoxy. Okay. Or the resin or resin, whatever y'all call it. But yeah, there you go. And you can always coat it again with another coat, which will give it a glossier look. Because the Mod Podge that I do use is the gloss kind. So it does give it a gloss um, after. That's why you see the little. See? Okay. That's the one I use. Yeah. Well, thank you all for liking this video. Or thank you all for watching this video. And just make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you all for liking this video and watching this video. And bye. Till next time.